So after I import my raw file into Lightroom, I'm just going to balance it before actually taking it into Photoshop for scale touching. Now this is how I edit my raw files inside of Lightroom. Now the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to balance the exposure. So I come to the exposure layer right here. I feel this image right here is looking a bit too underexposed. So I just come to my exposure and just take the exposure up a little bit like this. All right, so let this work for me. So on that thing I notice on this image, I feel the image is looking too warm. So I'm going to fix that using the white balance. So I'm going to come to this temperature right here. So if I take it towards the orange side, I'm making it look too warm. While if I take it towards the blue side, I'm just cooling it a little bit. So I'm going to take it towards the blue side just to cool it down a little bit so that this works for me. And also, I'm seeing a tint of greens on the image. So to fix that, I'm going to come to this tint right here and just take it towards the magenta side just a little bit like so. And the next I'm going to do, I'm going to come to the highlights and just take down the highlights a little bit just like this. All right now i'm going to open up the shadow just a tiny bit like so all right also i'm going to take down the blacks and maybe open up the whites just like that all right i'm going to scroll the way down i usually add a little bit of vibrance just to pop out the overall color so the parts of the colors that are not saturated by using vibrance those parts are going to be saturated so instead of using saturation i prefer you just use vibrance all right so i want to come to vibrance and just push the vibrance up a little bit just like this so next i'm going to do i'm just going to add contrast to this image so i'm going to come to my curves and just create an s curve to add contrast to this image so i'm going to take this place down like this all right and also take the highlight part up a little bit like this to add contrast to this image just like that now last time i'm going to do i'm just going to scroll all the way down and just come to this um calibration tab right here and just come to this blue primary and just add a little bit of blue primary like this all right so let's see the before and after this is the before and the after the before and the after and i think the background is looking a little bit too yellowish so i'm going to bring down that color down a little bit so to do that i'll come to my masking right here once i come to my masking i'm just going to select background now once i select my background first of all i'm going to take down the exposure because I feel the exposure is looking too much. So I'll bring down the exposure just like this. And also the yellows are looking a bit too much. I'll scroll the way down, come to my saturation and just desaturate the background a little bit, just like this. So see the before and after for the background. See the before and the after. The before and the after. And for me, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to open this image inside of Photoshop and just do this skin retouching. So I'm going to right click I click on edit in I click on edit in adobe photoshop and if you want to watch how i edit this picture inside of photoshop check this video right here i'll see you guys in my next one stay creative